building pumper trucks for the sewer industry and the guy that I was buying truck chassis from and the guy I was buying vacuum pumps from decided they didn't need me and they cut me out of the picture. And all of a sudden I was out of business. And when you're given a box of lemons, you make lemonade, right? And so I looked around and I found a magazine that had at that time a ringomatic and a vac master in the magazine. And I said to myself, I think I can do a better job than that. So I came up with the submarine door with the wheel on the back and I built the machine and I took it over to my local Ditchwich dealer and he said, man, that's a great machine. I think I'll take that one and uh, by the way, build me another one. And so it kind of evolved from there. And at that point, we didn't even have a brand. Uh, so we looked around for the brand, trying to generate the brand and sooner or later we came up with Vactron. The parent company being American Manufacturing, which was me, many times people would call and say, sales, I'd say sales, I'd say, Don, sales, and that was just how it went. The brand name took off, we, we hired a few key people, we developed the market literally overnight, from 98 to 2000, it was unbelievable times. We had sold well over a thousand units, and we developed the distribution, developed the brand name, developed the manufacturing all at the same time. It was fun, it was very challenging times. It tested many of my skills, which I still need and, and uh, wish I had more of, but it was, it was trying times and we learned a lot. It was, I call it drinking through the fire hose. Of course, the dot-com bubble hit, and then our distribution actually entered the marketplace with their own product, which was Ditchwich and Vermeer at the time. We were kind of left out on our own. So business dropped to actually 15% of the business we were doing in 2000. It was very, very difficult times for us. We didn't, we had to hang on by the skin of our teeth and just struggled through as many in our industry did. When you have to eat, you know, that's kind of a necessary thing you have to do. And we just were not gonna give up. Vactron is determined by the grace of God, are we still here? Many, many months we ran upside down. We were hundreds of thousands of dollars. We owed our vendors more than we had in receivables. I'm sure many people have been in those situations. And like I said, only by the grace of God have we pressed through those situations. We continue to give, we're big givers. Uh, we love to give, we love to help people, the community and, and around the world actually. So by my philosophy of giving in it, show, it will come to you. And we're just strong believers in that idea. The way the business is set up, we weld, paint, and assemble. So we've established a business model that I think will sustain itself for a long time so that we can go through those difficult times. Now we're in a beautiful facility. We've got great partners like Republic. And of course, we have the partnership with Vermeer. We're excited about that partnership and hope that continues for many years. Never in my wildest dreams would I have dreamt that a product that was basically developed in my garage get to where it is today to have 6,000 units in the field, that number is amazing to me. And to have that many people running around with our equipment, it's just, it's just so phenomenal, it's quite a blessing. Relationships are the foundation of any good business. If you don't have relationships, you basically have nothing. If you don't have a reputation, you have nothing. I can say with 100% confidence that we every single Vactron customer is a happy customer.